Hello welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we tell you about the Turkish War of Independence. The Turkish War of Independence was a series of military campaigns waged by the Turkish national movement after parts of the Ottoman Empire were occupied and partitioned following its defeat in World War I. These campaigns were directed against Greece in the west, Armenia in the east, France in the south, loyalists and separatists in various cities, and British and Ottoman troops around Constantinople, Istanbul. The ethnic demographics of the modern Turkish Republic were significantly impacted by the earlier Armenian genocide and the deportations of Greek-speaking Orthodox Christian Rum people. 59. The Turkish nationalist movement carried out massacres and deportations to eliminate native Christian populations, a continuation of the Armenian Genocide and other ethnic cleansing operations during World War I. 60. Following these campaigns of ethnic cleansing the historic Christian presence in Anatolia was destroyed in large part, and the Muslim demographic had increased from 80% to 98%. While World War I ended for the Ottoman Empire with the Armistice of Mudros, the Allied powers continued occupying and seizing land. Ottoman military commanders therefore refused orders from both the Allies and the Ottoman government to surrender and disband their forces. This crisis reached ahead when Sultan Mehmed VI dispatched Mustafa Kemal Pasha, Ataturk, a well-respected and high-ranking general, to Anatolia to restore order. However, Mustafa Kemal became an enabler and eventually leader of Turkish nationalist resistance against the Ottoman government, allied powers, and Christian minorities. In an attempt to establish control over the power vacuum in Anatolia, the Allies persuaded Greek Prime Minister Eleftherios Venizelos to launch an expeditionary force into Anatolia and occupy Smyrna, Izmir, beginning the Turkish War of Independence. Many different national congresses banded together which led to the establishment of the Grand National Assembly, GNA, in Ankara. A counter-government led by Mustafa Kemal made up of remaining elements of the Committee of Union and Progress. The Allied powers meanwhile pressured the Ottoman government into suspending the Constitution, shuttering the Chamber of Deputies, and signing the Treaty of Sevra, a treaty unfavorable to Turkish interests that the Ankara government declared illegal. In the ensuing war, a regular militia known as Kuva Y Milie defeated the French forces in the south, and undemobilized units led by Kazim Karabekir Pasha went on to partition Armenia with Bolshevik forces. Resulting in the Treaty of Kars, October 1921, the western front of the independence war was known as the Greco-Turkish War, in which Greek forces at first encountered unorganized resistance. However, Ismet Pasha's organization of Kuva Y Milie militia into a regular army paid off when Ankara forces fought the Greeks in the battles of 1st and 2nd Inonu. The Greek army emerged victorious in the Battle of Kataya Eskashir and decided to drive on the nationalist capital of Ankara, stretching their supply lines. The Turks checked the advance in the Battle of Sakaria and counter-attacked in the Great Offensive, which expelled Greek forces from Anatolia in the span of three weeks. The war effectively ended with the recapture of Izmir and the Chinak crisis, prompting the signing of another armistice in Madania. The GNA in Ankara was recognized as the legitimate Turkish government, which signed the Treaty of Lausanne, July 1923, a treaty more favorable to Turkey than the Sevra Treaty. The Allies evacuated Anatolia and eastern Thrace, the Ottoman government was overthrown and the monarchy abolished. And the Grand National Assembly of Turkey, which remains Turkey's primary legislative body today, declared the Republic of Turkey on the 29th of October 1923. With the war, 
a population exchange between Greece and Turkey, 63, the partitioning of the Ottoman Empire, and the abolition of the Sultanate, the Ottoman era came to an end, and with Ataturk's reforms, the Turks created the modern, secular nation-state of Turkey. On the 3rd of March 1924, the Ottoman Caliphate was also abolished.